Mark Rugen with Muto America here. We're going to test out a new device that I think you'll really appreciate, the Color Muse. This is a device that's used to measure color. It's about $59. You can get it about anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a brochure, and you can see the little uh, corner up here where you have the, the nice blue. I'm going to take this instrument, and I'm going to measure that. Then we're going to print it on some white vinyl and compare it so that you can match colors. I think this is going to be a great new addition to your workflow. Let me show you how it works. All right, well, the Color Muse here comes with uh, a software or an app that goes on your iPhone and allows you to connect it using your Bluetooth device. So we're going to just click Connect Device. We're going to press the top of the button here to connect it. Perfect. Now it's asking me to calibrate it, so we just set it down somewhere. There's a white cap goes on the top right there. Just click calibrate. And once it's calibrated, it's done. So at this point then, I'm going to take that little uh, device off right there, set it down on my measuring point right here, and then again what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to measure this, okay? So what we can do at this point then is actually scan it in. Alright, so let's go back and what it will do is it will actually scan that color. Now it's going to give you these colors in paint colors but there's a little inspect button over here to the left and it actually shows you those numbers in RGB. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input those numbers. I'm going to draw a square in uh, Flexi. I'm going to actually print it on my vinyl and then right next to this there's a sample uh, scan sample. We're going to compare what our print looks like to our actual color that we just measured on this brochure. Alright, so I printed this out. I just uh, drew a square in Flexi, uh, made a couple of adjustments, and I'll show you how to do those in the software. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is measure these two. I've got the brochure here compared to that blue. You can see it's a pretty close match to start with. But I'm also going to place my Muse on the actual printed part. I'm going to hit Scan. And it actually says here I have a delta of 1.93, which indicates with a green strip and that actually shows that there's a minimal difference between those two. In other words, it's a good match. Uh, if it were not, if it were close, it might have an orange or a yellow strip. If it were not even close, it would give you a red strip indicating you need to make some adjustments. So you can make those adjustments in Flexi, and you can actually match something that you measure with the Color Muse. I think this is a great tool for you to use, and uh, I would highly recommend it to you. You can just go out and look for it. Just type in Color Muse in Google and you'll find it. it's about uh, $49. I think you'll love it. $49, $59, something like that. All right, so I've scanned the brochure color uh, with the Color Muse and it gives me some RGB values when I click on uh, inspect. So what I'm going to do here then is I'm actually going to input those values in Flex. I just drew a square here. I'm just going to type in my values. It says it's uh, 99 Point three by 184.1 by 217.9 and that's the actual color of the brochure. Now what I'll do in this case is I'll go ahead and print this so we're going to go to wide format printer just click on that. I'm going to use uh, a MUTO uh, 1324X to uh, print this. Just just draw a box that's big enough to measure. It doesn't have to be this big. I'm just showing this for, so you can see it properly. And set up your, your, all your settings. You know, make sure that you're setting up the right uh, profile and so forth for this particular media, right? So once we have those set up, we send that job. All right. And in my production manager here, um, you can actually see that job is loading up. What I do is I would actually print that job. Now, once you print that and measure it, if it doesn't match closely, in other words, if your delta E is, say, 4 or 5 or something like that, uh, what you want to do is make some adjustments. So you would go back into your Flexi here, and what I recommend you do is don't, don't adjust the RGB values. Uh, go in here and change this to HSV right here. And in my case, what I had to do was I increased each of these by about five. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. That's what I did. You may have to change yours a little bit differently, but about five clicks up or down on each of these 
uh, values here tends to get you right in that range of colors that you're going to want to print. And so I reprinted this, and uh, as, you, as you can see, it matched extremely well. So the Color Muse is really kind of a cool tool. I highly recommend it to you.